The West Africa Power and Petroleum Chamber is set to launch the maiden edition of the West Africa Power and Petroleum Awards in the second quarter of 2024 in Accra, Ghana. Chief Executive Officer of the Energy Media Group, Engineer Henry Taino, announced this during the seventh edition of the Ghana Energy Awards in Accra on Friday, November 17, 2023. According to him, many governments in Africa are responding to the calls for a global energy transition. However, there is the need to recognize that many governments are making efforts towards ensuring the security, access and reliability of power for Africans. For this reason, the WAP Chamber is putting together the ECOWAS-centered awards initiative to acknowledge these great strides. The West Africa Power and Petroleum Award will feature only seven award categories, Best Country in Climate Change Leadership Award, Overall Best Performing President, Overall Best Performing Minister, Energy Personality, Energy Company PA, Energy Company Petroleum, and Social Intervention Energy Initiatives of the Year. Engineer Taino subsequently urged governments and stakeholders within the sub-region to participate in the maiden and future events to promote the positive stories of resource governance on the African continent. <music> Cameroon's Minister of Economy, Planning and Regional Development, Alamin Usmani Me, has announced the construction of a new mega hydropower project aimed at improving power supply and promoting development. He said the initiative would restructure Cameroon's economy by increasing access to energy, energy that is clean, inexpensive, and renewable. The 420 megawatt Natikau hydroelectric power station on the Sanaka River will harness electricity from the Natikau. Falls. The World Bank Group supports Cameroon's project, which will also offer energy to neighboring nations such as Chad, Central African Republic, and Nigeria. Hyundai on Tuesday unveiled a high-tech electric car facility in Singapore, calling it a pillar of the South Korean automaker's electrification strategy for the future decades. According to the corporation, 200 robots will perform half of the activities at the Hyundai Motor Group Innovation Center Singapore, and it will use innovative production methods that will move away from traditional conveyor belts. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV. Local in focus, global in perspective.